we're with Stevie Batiche and uh, it, we're in the Applied Sciences Lab here. What are you guys working on? Imagine a day where, you know, in your home, one wall is dedicated to being your magic wall. A wall where it can teleport you to another world without really going anywhere. You can have a conversation as richly, as interactively as I am having with you, but at the same time, we have this digital augmentation that's happening between us. And so, the window of the North Star, it's, right. the, it's the vision, it's the long-term thing that we want to create because it's, it's, you know, it's the holodeck right. in some sense, right? You want to create the holodeck. In, in some sense, this is the holodeck, I think right? that's great. In order to send this light to each eye, we develop a very unique lens. It's a flat lens, and we put it behind an LCD. We replace the backlight of the LCD with a flat lens, and we're able to shoot light out into specific locations in space. This is now this, which is, a, again, a solid piece of plastic. We have LEDs on the side, light travels around, and we're able to shoot that light. I feel like this is gonna be like, you're gonna say, just I want you to test this to see that it's solid, and then you're gonna have an assistant come out, and you're gonna <laughs> saw somebody <laughs> no, exactly. in half. <clears throat> no, 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 no sawing allowed here. Okay. Um, and so, so here we have uh, an array of LEDs. If I wanna send light out here, I can just turn this on. Right. This LED is mapped all the way out here. If I want to send light here, I just turn that light off and everything else off. If I put an LCD on top of this and I know where your head is, I'm able to know what light to turn on and thereby I can send an image to a specific location in space and therefore to each eye. So this is the world's only a flat stereoscopic 3D display uh, that's steerable. Have a seat. Okay. This might be hard to take a shoot of. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. There are two strips of light right there on the left eye and right eye, corresponding to each image. I'm gonna try to think of the best way to describe what I'm seeing. It is a teapot floating in the middle of a brick room, and there are two biplanes flying around the teapot. And they're all kind of spinning around in 3D space. And I'm seeing it in 3D, in the sense that it, it physically has depth to my eyes. And as I move my head in and out, or left to right, the scene pivots or zooms appropriately as if I, if I were walking into this room and getting closer to the teapot or getting further away from the teapot uh, and everything is kind of moving in accord. I don't think there's any way this could be captured on camera. It is very weird though, I have to say. Now wait a second, is the teapot reflecting the yes. room? No, reflecting you, yes. It's reflecting yes. what it's seen. Yes. I mean, it's reflecting what it would be reflecting in the sense That's of right. this, this room. Yes. Uh, it's very, this is very odd. Yeah. We didn't even know this was possible a year ago. Now, because we can send an image to each eye, and each eye sees basically its own unique image, we can certainly send a, an image to each person. You see a teapot? Yeah, what do you see? I see a skull. Your image is a lot more pleasant than mine. We are, in fact, finding where you are in space, and then shooting a cone of light to each, oh, to each face. Right. And you can, you can do that. So, Steve, if you move your, 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 your head side to side, you can see that those LEDs are, in fact, following you. Oh, they are? It's using yeah. the sensor. It's using the sensor. So it's lighting up the bits that would make sense to display based yeah. on the uh, And what that means is people around you can't see anything. Right. It's like your own private view. Yeah. This would be great for porn. Yeah. It, it, exactly. <laughs> right? And a multiplayer Halo. Next, we're building a 55-inch version of this. How many years are we away from the from the magic window? You know, that's hard, that's hard for me Give to me answer. Give me a number. I, I can't, you had to I guess. Can't. I wish I could. You know, Five uh, years? I want you to make that assessment by the time I'm done here. Okay, what's next? If you want the illusion of looking through a, a, a window or a frame, you have this function of that the view is changing as a function of your head. Right. Parallax. Like, parallax, yeah. like this, right? In fact, you can see that, that image changing as I move my head left and right. If, if it was a standard normal display, this would only work for one person, which is why we need to create a display that is multi-view, right. right? Now you need a display that can see your hands in front of it. You can't just put a camera up on top and have it look down because that's just too close to the display. I want to be able to touch the display and even transmit the image of my finger to the other side. As you saw in that video, you had the two children almost you know, meeting right. like this. And that, that brings a very kind of intimate you know, real contact, as if, you know, you and I are standing like this, and, you know, and, you know, I want to, you know, like, you know, that. like that, yeah, right? Okay. And, and, and we're high-fiving. That, that was cool, That right? was a pretty cool high-five. And, and, you know, you can't do that you today. You cannot do that through any type of technology nothing, that we know. Nothing yet. The high-five has actually suffered because of digital technology. <laughs> when you think about you can it. can imagine. People are doing fake high-fives. They're saying high-fives. They're emailing 
people, yeah. photos of other people high-fiving. <laughs> yeah. What can we do to get a real high-five going? Here. All right. So we take the same light guide technology and run it in reverse. So right there, we had LEDs shining into it and projecting light out in the space. Yep. Now we're going to put a camera here as it's like your eye was looking down through here, which is the camera, and we're gonna look through the display. Okay. And there's my hand. It is an image of my hand through a display while the display is doing its business. Oh, this is picking up, the, the, the display is picking it up. Yeah. All right, let me try this, let me see. Um, yeah, smooth so, things? Yeah, you can. So oh. there's a game we wrote to show you that, you know, we can, you can, you don't have to touch everything. You don't have to touch a display to have, interact with it. This is a hover game. And it's not about touching, it's about manipulating this car. Come back next year, I'll even show you some cooler stuff. Well, just show it to me now. I can't. Let's not wait. <laughs> Why postpone? Why put off for tomorrow? Because then you won't come back next year. No, I'll come back, believe me. Let's move it one more level. Okay. Here, even further out. Sticky notes. Sticky notes. Digital sticky notes. Sticky notes are one of the hallmarks. When you know something is truly digital, you see it. <laughs> exactly. if, if there's a sticky note on it, <laughs> digital you know sticky you're note. looking at something digital, <laughs> not an analog clock. Right, exactly. You need to put a little analog clock. Yeah. <laughs> this one has the unique capability of not just seeing infrared light, but also visible as well. To show you that we can eventually get to that, that vision of two people touching right. each other and giving each other high five. You know, there's no tracking out here. It's all through the display. And that's what the display is able to see. And now I want to take this post-it note. I'm going to put her here and I'm going to let go. This is something that, that we saw on the new Surface, right? Yes, but not, not quite like this because that, look at that. that is right, a, well that's the actual, that's the, an actual image. That's an actual image. That's but, a color reproduction but, of this. But the new Surface is able to kind of transcribe from, yes. from that sort of stuff. Yes. So I've, I've shown all the pieces, all you know, in its own kind of componentized concept. Right. The idea then ultimately is to put them all together to create, you know, a more ultimate experience. Yeah. Well, this is incredible. This is awesome. Thank yes. you so much for, for showing coming. this yeah. off. And which part are you selling me? The whole package? Yeah, was, we have to do a deal. If, if you do a bulk, we give you a kind of a special oh really bulk discount? Price. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'll, I'll meet you in the alley later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We should high five. Right. <laughs> right. Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's so good.